of his study for a sports broadcasting and journalism degree, our very own Danny Rose has been investigating all things Pompey for his final major video project. And what better way for him to get an insight into such a colourful and unique club? Bonkers club. Yeah, and yeah. The, the, it's a proper club. And the fans are the heartbeat of, of the whole city. Than by meeting its most colourful and unique supporter. Here's what happened when Danny Rose spent the day with John Portsmouth Football Club Westwood. And as I went down as on Boxing Day, um, 76, to watch Pompey play against Brighton. There was 32,000 down there. We'd be getting crowds at 12, 13 because it was a local derby, and I was just. I walked in the ground and the atmosphere was just incredible. And you know yeah. when you get a life to find a moment, I just thought at that moment I want to be a Pompey fan for the rest of my yeah. life. The atmosphere, the yeah. fans, it was just magical. Would the the best sort of memory you have as a Pompey fan be winning the, the FA Cup in 2008? Would that be the, the best moment you've had, the best memory? A winning the FA Cup is fantastic. You, you can't put that into words. I never thought I'd see us win the FA Cup. I mean, growing up over the years, you've seen the Arsenal's, the Man United's, the Liverpool's, the Chelsea's, all winning the cup. Because our chances of winning it are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And I've watched every cup final since I was a kid. So to actually be in the cup final, I was like, what the hell, what's that now? The pair chatted for almost an hour, despite the very different roles they usually occupy on a match day. And after a quick tea break, it was time for the guided tour. Do you like a biscuit? Oh, was the um, T.W. Clark. And it's actually meant to be the same weight and everything. It is quite heavy, isn't it? Yeah. But the lid don't come off, thank God. <laughs> that was it. It's actually the same bit apart from the, obviously the winners down the bottom. Yeah. But Danny's time visiting a Pompey treasure trove certainly wouldn't have been complete without sampling a few of the prized oh, artefacts. No, yeah. <laughs> You'll get it redone. Yeah, I've got a new skin. Oh. We've, got some, we've got some spare skins. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Don't you try wearing that, it's heavy. Is it heavy? <laughs> Why it should have to have straps around it. To... Should I put all the gear on? Yeah, there you go. There you go. I do, I don't mind. I'll put it all on. Oh, quite a few. Yeah. We've got the, we've got the um, even bigger ones we used to have. Um, around the back of your neck, yeah? And these actually, we went arms on club and bought, and clubs used to go after us on the skin. How's that for an old bloody rail? Well, I ain't gonna rattle it just in case. Yeah, no, it should be on. I'm proud of it. I'm sure the fans, I don't know if this is true, but I'm sure the fans must, they must help you, they must help, the, they must give the players that extra. Yeah, 100%, yeah, when you, especially when there's a, someone's just been put through down the line and they're going through on goal, or they're about to put a cross in, or someone wins a tackle, it, does, it definitely does give you that. Gives that edge. Yeah, yeah. just to, without even knowing that it does. Yeah. You've never explained sport like it before, have you? Um, I mean, Northampton last season fans were, it was always good atmosphere because they were top of the league and everything was going, it was rosy. Um, again, Oxford was another big club, but for, for attendances of six, seven, maybe 8,000, so nothing compared to this. Even Wednesday games weren't, weren't going, aren't going too great. Um, obviously, don't stop singing and cheering until, until the end. There's, I've never experienced anything, and I've only played, say, at this, this level and a little bit above, but. Other than that, no, I've not experienced anything like it. That's bought me for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>